Now, when you go to the grocery store, cauliflower is everywhere. So many alternates to actually use that cauliflower, but we just want a good old cauliflower recipe. Erica Schlick is back. Okay, Erica, I mean, we loved the prosciutto and stone fruit salad. Now we're switching gears and a little bit heartier for this one, right? A little heartier, getting into that roasted vegetable vibe now that we're getting into fall a little bit. So the salad is kind of the tail end of summer, and this is going to help kind of get you through those first few months of fall, using your oven, warming up your house, and having some hearty roasted vegetables. And this is a good way to get kids to eat vegetables. I think parents have learned the value of tricking their kids into eating it, right? <laughs> Absolutely. With all the fresh herbs and the pistachios in this, anyone that's not even a fan of cauliflower is going to be into this recipe. Perfect. Okay, where do we get started? All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to get started by prepping our cauliflower to roast it. So I've got some melted coconut oil here, and we're going to add a little bit of ground garlic. We're going to add a little bit of cardamom, and this is the magic flavor. This really kind of gives it that really delicious roasted flavor. We're going to add a little bit of sea salt, and that's it. We're just going to whisk this together. And then I've got one head of cauliflower here that I've gone ahead and chopped up. And we're just going to pour this over and then just use a spatula to kind of stir that in there, get it all coated. And you don't need to worry about it too much because we're going to put it here on our baking sheet. I've got a parchment lined baking sheet ready to go. And you just pour it on. And then at the very end, you'll have a little bit of that cardamom oil. And then just make sure that gets drizzled on any piece that didn't get any. And that's it. You just want to put this so that they all kind of lay flat on your sheet. We'll put that in the oven at 450 degrees for about 20, 25 minutes. So it gets nice and kind of crispy on the edges. And then pull it out and let it cool. And I've got some hair that's already been roasted. And you can see I had about the same amount on my sheet and it really, really cooks down. So if you've got a big family, you may even want to double this recipe if you want a lot of cauliflower. Otherwise, one is perfect for about two people. And I've got some pistachios here and this gives it just such a nice crunch and pairs so well with that cardamom. And I've got fresh mint and you absolutely want to use fresh herbs for this. The fresh herbs are just what completely makes this recipe so vibrant. And I've got some fresh dill here as well. And you don't really need to add any more seasonings. We've already got our garlic, our cardamom, and everything from the roasting. And that's it. You just kind of stir this together, get it coated with those herbs. And it's such a simple recipe. I also have a lemon tahini sauce that you can make as an add-on, as an option to kind of eat with the, with the cauliflower, or you can just keep it simple. Pair this with a grilled lamb, a grilled meat, some chicken. It is a perfect hearty side, delicious, comes together in 20 minutes. Tons of fresh herbs, so healthy for your immune system and delicious. Oh my gosh, it it sounds so, so, so good. And I like that you add the pistachios in there as well for that kind of that different crunch. Absolutely. And it really pairs nicely with that cardamom, kind of gives it more of like a Mediterranean flavor. Yeah. And I wish you could smell the herbs. The combo of the dill and the mint is just so good, so delicious. And as far as like immune systems go, I mean, you 100% understand that world so well. So you're constantly trying to use ingredients that really, really help uh, just because of everything that you've gone through over the years. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, the key is really using healthy fat. So making sure you use either coconut oil, or you can use some avocado oil. You want something that has a high smoke point so that you're not oxidizing the fat. So that's always really important for your body and inflammation. And then using fresh herbs as much as possible. There's so many antioxidants and vitamins and amazing things that are found in fresh herbs and they're so easy to sprinkle on and then you make your food so pretty and delicious. So you can't go wrong with fresh herbs. And one thing I have learned is if the, you know, the meal or whatever I cooked is kind of bad, the fresh herbs mask it. They will <laughs> fix it. They will cover anything right now. percent <laughs> it fix it. Erica, so many great recipes. You're constantly posting on Instagram. You also have a great blog as well. Give that to everybody so they can follow you. You can find me at the trail to health.com. And that's also my social media handle. You can order my cookbook, Wandering Palette on my website and Amazon as well. Okay. Fabulous. Great to see you. And we'll see you next month. Sounds great. Thank you so much.